है ये ऑल सो टुडे वी आर मेकिंग दिस रियली रियली ईजी होल वीट नैचोस सो आई एम री यूजिंग दिज ओल्ड चपातीज दैट आई हैव सो इट हैपन्स वेरी ऑफन विथ ऑल द फर्स्ट इन इन एन इंडियन हाउस होल्ड दैट वी डू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ स्पेयर चपातीज सो इट्स बेटर टू यूज इट इन सम वे दैट योर फैमिली रियली इन्जॉयज इट दिन रेदर दैन जस्ट थ्रोइंग इट अवे so this is a very easy way you can use it and i'm sure your kids are going to love it so just need to chop your chapatis in like this in shape of nachos or squares or triangles however you like it and then we are going to not fry it but we are going to microwave it or you can also do it in an oven i'm using my oven method so you are just going to use your oven tray put a parchment paper on it or foil on it and then you are going to cook it by tossing it up in little bit of olive oil and that is how you are going to cook it i'll men show you how the process goes so try to spread it as evenly as possible all right so that every part of the roti and every each and every piece gets proper heat and gets cooked really well you can also use an air fryer like air fryer method is really easy so you are just going to spread your rotis like this and you are going to add olive oil it and toss it up and then you are going to put it in the oven for about like 10 minutes at 200 degree celsius That's it. It will get nice golden and crispy. I'll show you how it turns. So, this is how it turns out like really nice and golden and super crispy. So, it gives really nice crunch and also you can store it in an airtight container for about like 3 to 4 days. It will not go bad. So, and it will also be really crispy. So, that's an easy way. I'm also making this salsa to go with it. Like it's a basic salsa with just onion, tomato, chili, coriander, mint, some pomegranate, some salt, pepper and lemon juice. A bit of olive oil. So, the very basic salsa recipe I'm using here just for a side. Uh, you can make any salsa or any dip of your choice as well so i'm just using this one because it's healthier than ha going for mayonnaise or anything like that that's the only reason but it is up to you if you want you can also add melted cheese on it like it's all how you and your family like it and you can modify it according to your wishes and while i will transfer this in a bowl you can just go like and comment on this video and if you like it you can also share it with your family your likes your comments they mean a lot to me so and i want to thank everyone who have been supporting me from the beginning so thank you a lot and i hope i keep on bringing some content that is helpful to you So this is my favorite topping just some chopped onion chopped tomatoes some capsicum nice green if you have other colors capsicums you can use those some fresh coriander it really adds this nice freshness of herb fresh mint leaves from our garden they are the best so fragrant and amazing some pomegranate seeds they add really nice burst of flavor when you bite into it i really like that You can also add some herbs of your choice like you can add chili flakes, oregano, basil, like whatever you like. It is all your wish. How you like it? This is my version of it. Super healthy, super easy to make. Like I can make this any time I have guests, so it's really easy to present them and they will enjoy it for sure. I hope you like this easy recipe and I'll see you next time.